The topic today is normals and tangents to a curve and the question reads the equation of a curve is given as y is equal to 2x cubed plus x squared plus 3x minus 1. Find expressing the answer in the form y is equal to mx plus c. But a, the tangent to the curve at the point 1 comma negative 5 and part b, the normal to the curve at the point 1 negative 5. So the first thing we need to do here is to have a sketch. Now we are told that we have a curve and then we have a line tangent to the curve at a point and that point is 1 comma negative 5. So what you are required to do is to get the equation of this line here. So the curve is represented by y is equal to 2x cubed plus x squared plus 3x minus 1. So in order to get equation of a line, the requirements are, so let's call the tangent line 1. So the gradient of line 1 will be represented by m1, which we do not know. We know a point that lies on the line 1 comma negative 5 and then we'll also use an arbitrary point x y so these are the requirements so the first thing we need to know is the gradient and that will obtain by determining the gradient function so the gradient function dy over dx that is 6 x squared plus we are differentiating each and every term so we have 6x squared plus the second term 2x plus 3 so with the gradient function we are going to get the gradient of the curve at point 1 comma negative 5 so at that particular point we know that the value of x is equal to 1. So that simply implies dy over dx is equal to, so we're going to substitute this in the gradient function and that is 6 into 1 squared plus 2 into 1 plus 3 and this should be 11. So that means the gradient of line 1 is 11. Now we have all the requirements necessary for getting the equation of a straight line. So given that M1 is 11 and we have a point on the line 1 comma negative 5 and a general point x, y, we can now get the equation of the line change in y over change in x is equal to the gradient which is M1. So here we're going to have change in y is y minus negative 5, so that is y plus 5, all over x minus 1, and that should be equivalent to the gradient, and the gradient is 11. For the sake of cross multiplication, we'll have that over 1, and that should give us y plus 5 is equal to 11x minus 11 which simplifies to y is equal to 11x minus 16 so we need to note that here it's already in the form y is equal to mx plus c y is equal to mx plus c where c will be negative 16 x corresponds to x and m is 11 and y corresponds to y so this is the equation we're looking for next we're going to get the equation of the normal at the same point so when you talk about the equation of the normal we'll draw this sketch once more so we already have line one right there 
at point 1, negative 5, it is tangent to the curve. And now we have a normal, normal means perpendicular to, so we have a line normal to the curve, and that would mean it is perpendicular to the tangent at that point. So let's call it line 2. Line 2 and line 1, it can be noted that they share the same point, point 1 comma negative 5. What you don't know about line 2 is its gradient. So we need to recall if two lines are perpendicular, in other words normal, to each other, then the product of their gradients is negative 1. That is to say, gradient of line 1 multiplied by the gradient of line 2, what you get is negative 1. Therefore, since m1 given as 11, then m1 which is 11, so applying it here, times m2 should be equivalent to negative 1, and that means m2 is negative 1 over 11, so I've divided both sides by 11. Given that the gradient of line 2 is negative 1 over 11, and we know that the line also passes through the same point 1 comma negative 5, so we have 1 comma negative 5, and a general point x, y. These are the requirements for us to form equation of a straight line. So gradient is equal to change in y over change in x, and the gradient will given us negative 1 over 11, and the change in y will be y minus negative 5, so that is y plus 5, over change in x, x minus 1, and cross multiplying, we are going to have, so this is 11y plus 55 is equal to negative x plus 1. So that this implies that 11y is equal to negative x plus 1 minus 55. And therefore, simplifying this, we realize that y is equal to negative 1 over 11x minus 4 and 9 over 11. So finally, this is the equation of the normal to the tangent or the normal to the curve at the point 1 comma negative 5, just as we shown it here. So that is it for this question. Thank you for patience until this time. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.